I never thought that I would reach a thousand orders in Fiverr in such a short amount of time. It was you guys who proposed this idea to me first back in April, and I'm glad I took your suggestions. I wish there was a way for me to thank you guys and give each one of you a firm handshake for all that support. Anyways, enough with the sentimentals. This was the most requested video to do in my channel. Everyone wanted to know the data behind all of the faces I rated so far. This will be an overall short and straight to the point video, no playing around. And I want you to also keep in mind that this data here, it's only the facial attractiveness of the person who brought the gig. Because I offer two scores, one of the face alone and one with the face plus body and height. So this is just pure facial attractiveness. Like usual, this video will be split into two parts. The first one will be the statistics of the thousand faces and the second part will be the reasons why some people got a sub 5 rating and some extra information. And if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting your face evaluated by me with Lookmax and advice, the link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So, in the black belt community, there are five ranks of men. The sub five men, this one is self explanatory. The normies, this means you are average five invisible dude who fades in the background. The high tier normies, these are the sixes, they get noticed here and there sometimes. The chad lights, these guys are considered overall attractive. And the chads, these are the model caliber guys in terms of attractiveness. And the majority of men dream to look max to the chad level. So starting off with the sub 5s of the 1000 faces I've rated. By the way, my lowest score goes down to a 4 because a sub 5 is a sub 5. There is no need to overcomplicate it to a 3, 2 or 1. So out of a 1000 people I've rated, 272 of them got a score below a 5. So around 27%. When it comes to the people who got the average rating of a 5, 456 people did out of a 1000. Or 45.6%, which makes it the majority. Which makes sense from a logical perspective. Majority of the society is average looking. What about the above average looking people? When it comes to the people who got a 6, 192 people out of a thousand did, making them the 19% or 20%, which actually surprised me. I thought there would be more high tier normies. Well, what about the Chad Lights then? When it comes to the people who got a 7, 68 out of a thousand did, which makes them 6.8%, in the top 10% of looks. Now let's move on to the chads, guess how many chads ordered my face rating, well strap yourself up for this one. When it comes to the people who got in 8 and H+, well, 12 out of a thousand did, making them the top 1.2% in terms of looks, again, which logically makes sense, it's not often that you find model caliber people just walking around in the streets, they are rare to come by, and my rating scale does go up to a 9, and I do believe there are a few 9s that exist out there, but no one managed to hit that score just yet. And it's highly unlikely that a 9 will purchase my gig, but here's hoping. So 45.6% of a thousand people are average looking, 27% of a thousand are below average looking, around 19 to 20% of people are above average, which means there are more sub 5s than above average looking people. Attractive chad lights are 6.8% and the chads are in the top 1%. Now let's move on to the next section talking about some extra details and information. So when it comes to the people who got a sub 5, what made them a sub 5? Well, almost over half of them are actually overweight, and being overweight will almost certainly will put you at a sub 5 level. One cannot afford to be overweight in this day and age. The rest got a sub 5 rating because they have a lot of severe flaws in these two main features, eyes or jaw, and it's usually more screwed up eyes than jaw. For the height, the average height of the most people I've rated is in between 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 10. Then 6 foot, 6 foot 1 is not common and above 6 foot 1 is even rarer to find. When it comes to body fat percentages, most people fall in the 17 to 16% range. Pretty average, no muscular or facial definition, but not overweight either. It's not often that I get to rate someone who is shredded and well built. As for the look maxing potential for people who are a sub 5 because of the fat, they can boost their score from a 4 to a 5 to a 6 or even a possible 7 depending on the base hidden underneath all that fat. For the people who are a sub 5 because of major flaws in the big important areas like eyes and jaw, well I believe the surgery will be required. As for the average and above average people, it depends, each person got his own potential. Most people can improve by half a point to a full point max if they are lucky, it also depends on their flaw. I know I'm not giving straight answers when it comes to look maxing, but you can't give straight answers when it comes to this, because each person is different. As for the people I've worked with, majority were aged from 18 to 25, which is the big age demographic who watch my channel. But I also worked with 16 year olds all the way to 60 year olds. And from a thousand people who bought the gig, around 10 women also purchased it. So yeah, there's that as well. 
that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated and like usual catch you guys in the next one